next guest are the stars of the new special Tough Love Awards Get Real, premiering this Sunday at 8 p.m. right here on VH1. Here's a little sneak peek for you. Help her, for God's sakes. Help her. The same way you are with the Tough Love girls. Give her some tough love then. It's going in one ear and out the other. That's my point. Calm down. No, I'm you not calming down. Because you guys, let me tell you something. We're not yelling. Not you? No. I'm trying to get to the point without getting interrupted, Jillian. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. It's cool, calm down, it's cool, I get it. It's cool. I get we it, I get it, cool, it's cool, it's cool, calm down. Please welcome Steve and Joanne Ward. Hi, guys. There is a lot of love. Tension, I call it. <laughs> is that what that is? What's it like? What's the best part and worst part about working with your family? You want to answer that first? <laughs> um... It's family. I mean, the best part is she's the boss. Oh, okay, <laughs> because all right. Because she's the mom, which means that she makes all the decisions. Um, I just, I, I love my mom. I love my sister. You know, as you saw in the clip, she's working with us as well. Uh, we have a lot of pride in what we do. We take it very seriously. Uh, so we, we take our work home, so to speak. And you guys are all very stubborn in your own rights. Like, you guys all have a, a distinct, uh, an opinion, and you don't always agree, and that's where all of this comes from. But my opinion rules, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, ultimately, we'll let her get her way first. Right. And you, you actually see in, in this episode that airs on Sunday night that uh, we place a little wager, and uh, you'll have to wait and see who wins the bet. Oh, really? Yeah. What but, was uh, the wager about? Well, my mom had a, a, a guy in mind for this one girl, and then I had a guy in mind for the one girl. Okay. And because she thought that he would be a better fit, you know, her pick, um, you know, of course, she she gets her way. Mm -hmm. So we, we set him up with her first, <laughs> and then I set her up with the guy that I wanted her to go out with. Uh -huh. And, the and bet we'll was, see what happens. You'll see. Okay. This yeah, is but, why it ends, it, but, but it ends good on me. Oh. <laughs> it always ends good of on course, me. Of course, always. I think you're kind of spoiling the end already. No, no we're not. not. <laughs> <laughs> already. <laughs> This is how this goes. Okay, wait, you know it's metal day, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and we are so metal here today. Mm -hmm. Did he go through a metal phase? Absolutely. What did he listen to? What were you? Do you know? Um, you don't remember. Yes, I do. I think it was, he liked Guns N' Roses, ACDC. Nice. Yeah. Um, Who else? Let me think. Who else? Metallica. 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 Yeah, my, yeah, my, yeah, my yeah, brother yeah, yeah. and I, she let my brother and I drive up to Philadelphia when we were both in high school to go to a free Metallica concert in Philadelphia. They played a free show? Outside, yeah. It was like 100,000 people. It was unbelievable. That right there is mandatory Metallica. Yes, it was. <laughs> Very proud of you. So. All right, so you started your business, what, like 20-some-odd 20, 20 years ago? Oh, uh, here he goes. Oh, no, what? He just loves she doing doesn't the like whole being, age thing. She doesn't like being I, dated. I, Okay, no, we just started this business 27 years ago. Yeah, right? <laughs> she was there. <laughs> yeah, no, she's been doing it since I was a little kid. And yeah. how, how do you think things, how has dating changed in general just over the time? Oh, That's God. a great question. It, it, it is a good question. I think it's changed a lot because of um, social media. You know, social media just took it to the next level. And I think a lot of communication is lost in social media because everybody's Twittering and texting and Facebooking and emailing. And, you know, it's an easy way out for people instead of ver old school me. I'm verbal. You know, I, I want to talk about it. And so thank God for Steve, though, because he can, you know, relate that more and corral it better because it's in his, you know, age range now. But is there, there have to be times when you're telling people that you're trying to set up, get off your damn phone. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Gosh. Yeah, but it, but it happens now, you know, the phone has, has penetrated every form of relationship now. So a great example was last night I was out to dinner with uh, Crown Plaza Hotels, who I'm actually performing 11 weddings for them today. Uh, that's why I'm all dapper. Ooh. <laughs> it's 11, 11, 11, luckiest day of the century. <laughs> Get married on metal day. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, but I was out with them, and, you know, the one person took her phone out, and she's like, you know, I'm ex you know my kids, are, they have a sitter, blah, blah, blah. I need a phone. I'm like, if you're taking your phone out, I'm keeping my phone out. And then about halfway through the dinner, half the people were on their phones, texting, checking email. It, it's unfortunate, but now you're showing the person you're dating respect by keeping your phone in your pocket the whole time. And people do appreciate that. Yeah, I do. I try very hard. But then as soon as somebody breaks the mold, you have to then just... <laughs> there you go. Or you wait for is. someone to go to the bathroom and then you're immediately on it. Or you just, I gotta pee, and you run off and you start tweeting. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this date is awful. Yeah, oh my exactly. God. I say sit on your phone. Just sit on it. Well, only if it's on time for <laughs> Yeah, just sit on it. <laughs> there you go. Joanne! <laughs> Okay, we need to we need to play a game with you guys. Um, you know, people have dating advice everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we want to hear your take on other people's dating advice. Oh, is this ditch your date? <laughs> I don't know. If we can call it that. I don't know. Okay, so Steve Harvey has some advice that he he says that you should wait 90 days before giving out the benefits. <laughs> 90 days. 90 days. Wow, that sounds like you're punishing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do, Mom? Um. 
I don't think you need to wait 90 days. And I think it's up to the two people, the individual. I really do. I mean, it, it, different reasons. You know, I mean, if it's just sexual, you know, you guys are just lusting after each other then, and you have an agreement, then go for it. If it's a, developing a relationship and you want to wait and hold out, leave some curiosity, then go ahead. It's all about the, it's all about the agreement. Yeah. Okay, now Lala Anthony, her tip for long distance relationships is naked Skyping. I like that. You do? I think that's great. I got a real problem with that now. Okay, why? why? Screenshots. Oh. oh. See? Oh. Mm -hmm. Screenshots. Keep it from here on up. Or from there down, so no one knows it's you. Exactly. See? You sound like you've done this before, She's done Barry. It. You don't know anything about me, Steve. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming in. This Thank is you. fantastic.